Thank you very much, Sarah, along with Matt Dunnigan and David Sanchez. And guys, as much as Chad Kelly was the MOP last season, the Argos were as good as they were primarily because of how good their defense was. Half that defense turned over this offseason. Maddie, the defense looks pretty good still. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you got to win as a team, and that's exactly what they did today. Other than, uh, and I'm going to help Sarah out here, uh, Liram Haverlahu. Yeah, look, sir, I had a hard time saying that name, too. But at the end of the day, you know, he was money on field goals, but he couldn't find a deal on uh, PATs and converts, and that ultimately put the defense on their task of shutting down Vernon Adams late, and they were up to that task. It was, it was marvelous. I mean, they just got after it. Sometimes they rushed for little stunts up front, and Winton McManus kind of baited them, knowing that where stand back is, makes an old field tackle, forces the second and long, and then here, another little stun up front, flush burning. Flaren Amarlade is, is, is there wide open, waiting on it, thought he had a, thought he had a safety, but hey, and more pressure here, VA's got to throw it, throw it downfield to Hill Mary, basically, and nice defensive play on the back end, and just getting it done late, and they had to. And they had to rely on, on a good play by a young quarterback. And then late here, Aramalade, you know, uh, Perkins whiffs on him, and he gets a freebie. And uh, it is a ball game for the Toronto Argonauts. Really impressed the way this football team played all around. You know, you lose Boris Speedy, you bring yep. in Liram Hyralahu once again for you, Sarah. And, and it's one of those things where – uh, it's it's a big time win because a lot of people are talking about BC and how good they're going to be yeah. this year. A lot of pressure on VA trying to come over here and get a win, and uh, Toronto stood stood on their heads as a football team, especially defensively late. As a young quarterback, uh, huge confidence build to get that win. In his oh first man, win, he eh? played yeah. extremely well. And there was a point uh, down twenty to six, the Argos were, and BC Lions were driving. This was a huge momentum swing in the game. They're, BC's up 20 to 6. They're driving and an interception from Deshaun Amos. So this flipped the game on his head because, look, Cameron Dukes was pretty good all game long. Yeah. But they were down 26, and BC's about to score. From then, the Argos win. This is a Rasheed Bailey touchdown. And the Argos win on a – they scored 23 straight points, I believe. So right there, and then the second half, you saw, you saw Duke start to – some big throws to Tommy Neal. You saw him make some plays with his legs. You saw Kadeem Carey get going. But, I mean, if they – go down and the BC Lions score there, they go down 27 points, mm. and all of a sudden now you have a young quarterback playing from behind uh, in, his, in his, you know, debut of the season. So just a big momentum swing, I think that's confidence. We'll look back at that point, and not just for this game, but maybe their season. Now they got a, they got a win under their belt, a little bit of confidence, feeling good. I just think, and they got a bye coming up. Just a huge game. Complimentary football. Absolutely. You know, yeah. and uh, at his best, get out of the shoot, not bad job by the Argos. Yeah. Yeah, and when you look at uh, Vernon Adams, over 360 yards passing in this game, but he's going to remember the turnovers and want a few of those back. Certainly Cameron Dukes acquitted himself well in his yep. first start of the season. Let's send it back to you at SportsCenter.